I need an array type and I develop a program that display a sample shape in the filter demo. So this is how it goes. Let's try to run the program and see how it goes. As you can see, there's a menu there, and in every number, there is corresponding shape. The program let the user input a number for them to display their wanted shape to be displayed in the printer demo. Just like for example, I will input a number 1, a rectangle. As you can see, the rectangle display on the printer emulation. Let's try it again with the number 2. Let's try it in the pyramid. <coughs> it display in the printer emulation. Let's try it in number three. Number 3 is a diamond. There, as you can see, the diamond print on the print emulation. Let's try it with number 4. It display in the printer emulation, the pyramid. Then the last, the reverse pyramid. It's also displaying the pink emulation. Let's get in into the code. Org 100H is assembly directive. It defines where the machine code plays in the memory. The program I created only have one data segment, code segment, and a stock segment, so I put that model small to lessen the memory I use. I use also that stock 100H where it reserved 256 bytes of stock. That data is identified the data space of program. This is where all the messages all the messages located. I use I use ten DB ten comma thirteen comma it ten comma thirteen is for the new line. Also, 0DH and 0AH is for the new line also. That code identifies the beginning of code segment. I use proc code. I use the proc code so I can divide the program and just use the call and return. Move AX comma at data is the first line of the code that gets run. At data, the data segment is a variable that Holds value of the location in memory where the data segment store. This code allows to allocate the at data to AX register. Move DS, comma AX set the memory location as the variable DS will be the storage of all 
at data value stored in AX register. Play a DX comma message for the or the string variable. This could allocate the address of message or the string variable to the DX register. Move H9 and in 21. This code is the one who display the string and console. You must set a dollar sign to pin it in the console. And so on this code. Move DL12, move AH, 5 in 21H. This code will be the printer demo. You need to use you need to use the move AH5 to display it into the printer demo. Move AH, 1 in 21H, move BH, AL. This allow the program to type and the input will be stored in AL register. The AL value or the user input will be allocated in VH where, where VH will be compared to the ASCII code and if it's true, the corresponding number that the user input, the shape that in the number will be displayed in the printer demo. Just like for example, compare VH comma 31H or or the equivalent of this ASCII code is 1. If the VH value or the user input is the same value as ASCII code, the, the rectangle will be print in the, in the printer demo. And so this 3 or 4. So let's get into the loop. Move CX comma 5, move BX comma 5. This is the one who initialize CX and BX to 5. And this will be the guide of how many columns and row will be print. The loop 1 will print the column. The loop 2 will print the row of the star. The, I use the push CX and pop CX so that the loop will start in in the top and in the pyramid move BX comma 1 the BX register is initialized into 1 or, or this is called the row where the star will be input and move CX comma 5 is the, is the CX register or the value will be the column or it will be the column that will be pinned. In the loop 1 The L1 will print the space. The loop 2 will print the star and the VX will be allocated in CX. So that it will be print as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 star in a column when the loop is started. But in order to display as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, the loop 3 will increase the two increase the bx into 2 or increment that the bx into 2 and just and just like that up pyramid reverse pyramid and the diamond are the same process as the pyramid goes in order to achieve a half pyramid you just need to only increment the bx one and in diamond there will be a six loop 
that we first look is for the increment of dx in order to get a pyramid. In the fourth and fifth sixth loop is the same process but this but this loop will be the decrement of the bx. And for the reverse pyramid, you just need to you just need to receive focal the method that you use in the pyramid to achieve that reverse pyramid. And so that that's all. Thank you.